Good morning, guys. Um, I just left Noosa. Also, there's like no streetlights in Noosa. It's all roundabouts. So if you were afraid of driving in roundabouts, you'll get some great practice there because it's like one after the other. I did at least 15. Um, so yeah, I'm driving to Rainbow Beach and I've got my little passenger. I think I'm gonna name him Manny. He keeps falling off the dashboard, so then I just put him in my lap for the drive like a little kid. It's kind of cute. Um, so yeah, we're going to Rainbow Beach and I'm gonna try camping and I don't know if my car will be able to get to the campsite so I'm gonna check it out before I actually like commit to it uh, and then I think there's just like the beach and some cool dunes and stuff like that I'm gonna check out I'm just gonna kind of chill today I say that now and then I'll probably end up hiking a ton again but uh, Noosa Heads YHA Hostel was amazing. I really liked it. It had a very home feeling. There was a movie night last night and they do something every night to like get the people together. Um, they made us popcorn and it was only like four of us just chilling but I just cuddled up on the couch with a blanket and it just kind of felt like home. So that was really nice. Also sleeping in a a uh, four bedroom dorm with both guys and girls wasn't that bad at all. One guy was from Argentina, the other was an older man from Australia who's traveled like the whole entire world. And then the other girl, I forget, it was like Finland or somewhere. So four different countries stayed in one room. I think it's pretty great. Hostels are pretty interesting to be honest. Uh, so stay tuned guys. It's gonna be a good day. I'm feeling tired, but I'm gonna wake myself up. All right, love you. Guys, the drive up to Rainbow Beach was so beautiful. It was like just forced the whole time. Um, and make sure you get gas because there was only like one gas station and it gets more expensive when you get into Rainbow Beach. And I ran out of data. So now I have absolutely no service or no data or anything. Um, so I need to go find a coffee shop after this little hike and try to recharge my you know, data stuff, package, whatever. Oh, it's weird. It's like I feel stressed out sometimes on vacation when I shouldn't be stressed out, but I'm like stressed out. I can't wait to just relax today. I arrived at my camping site. It's pretty thick of sand, so make sure you got a decent car to drive it in. And I'm gonna walk to the beach and see how close it is. The woman who worked at the hostel told me that if you spend like, either like 30 minutes or three hours in nature, your immunity goes up for like the next three months. Like you have a great immune system. So I guess I'm gonna never get sick again after this vacation. They also have very nice bathrooms and soap and water, so that's a plus. I am at like uh, West Sarah, Sarah West or something by Inskip um, on the peninsula of Rainbow Beach. Freeze dried mangoes are the best thing I've ever had. It's like the perfect amount of sugar. Also, it's storming and I wanted to have a nice little hammock and read a book but it's just like really windy and rainy. But it's still nice. I hope I could just see a snake like cruise on by. The sun came out. Hey, now this, you know, has to dry because it got rained out. There's something about me and swings but I sure love them. They're so fun. <laughs> it's just like you're in your own little world when you get on a swing. What the heck guys? I was on the wrong side of the, the island here. 
Look at how calm and beautiful this side is. All you had to do was cross the road. So why did the Jamie cross the road? To find serenity. <laughs> And I'm just like listening behind me for a snake. Um, but maybe I'll see a dugong. A dugong? Is that how you say it? There is a sign for them for the mangroves. This is so beautiful. I'm like so in shock. Every day I wake up here. <laughs> This is truly, truly like paradise. I just can't even. Guys, it's so beautiful. Like, I have no words. I don't even know what to say. I just want to show you. Pristine. Blue water, mangroves, quiet silence, not a soul around. There's a fisherman up there, and then there's a guy with a dog all the way up there. Um, and it's just peaceful. Okay, see this trail in the water? If you follow it... <laughs> That's too funny! Look at him go! probably shouldn't pick him up because I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's like a cone shell or it's a hermit crab or whatever it is. But he's pretty cute under there. See him? Camping for one. Simple. A little too simple. This chocolate has won me over. It is so good and creamy and delicious. This is like my third bar. I wanted to show you guys some things I bought. So I bought a little handsaw just in case I come across a tree in the road. Got this today at the gas station. Really good to have. Also a bicycle pump in case I get a flat, then I can repair it. Wire ties, great for everything. Straps in case I get um, a roof rack and I can start putting stuff up there. First aid kit's really good to have too. Um, and then I have a bunch of other stuff in this survival bag, including my snake hook. Um, I've got this little, it's like a little wind up radio and some screwdrivers, some gloves, some binoculars, some rope. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. Flashlight's good, compass is good, shovel. That's definitely something good to have too. I have these little these little neck things to help you keep cool or protect you from the sun. This stuff is from Colorado, but this was a bear bell. Still good to have. Um, an opener for beer. This is a life straw. Life straw. It'll filter like any body of water, which is great. And this is a reflective mirror, which is also really good to have. Okay, I have a whistle and another whistle. And I've got a fire starter with some flint. And then this is like a little hand saw too. You can cut through stuff. So good to have this extra backpack just in case I ever need it. Shall I need it? Maybe I'll be okay. Guys, the tide went out and now all the mangroves are on land. Pretty crazy. Wow, that's the beautifulest <laughs> sunset I've ever seen. That's not a word.
baby crab? A fiddler crab? Wow, savage right there. Look at the shrimps. How cute. Oh my gosh, he's so quick. It's okay, little guy. Look at your little eyeballs. You're cute. Yoink! And... Where did he go? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. That's so great.